How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Minecraft Evolution SMP server. My name of course is System Z and in the last episode we worked on this build here and it's no longer a facade. It's no longer a movie set. It's actually a building now. During some live streams we worked on adding the actual depth to the building and uh, we've also been separating the floors as you can see we've kind of got a plan for these studio apartments and since they're a little bit smaller than the apartments across the street I can't really have room so that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to sell but I do have to say the view is absolutely amazing so why wouldn't anyone want to live here but guys another thing that I have figured out uh, with the help of everyone from my streams we have a plan for this bottom floor. Originally, I was just going to make this a lobby area, but I have a new idea. If you don't remember, at the beginning of EVO, like the very beginning, I was the first person to really build a structure in Old Spawn. We built a bakery, and that bakery was eventually demolished for what would be the mayor's office, which I guess is now demolished. It's full circle, I guess. So, I think it's time we bring back the bakery. I know a lot of you have been wanting to see it, so this is where we're going to do it. We're going to build a brand new system. Z's bakery new and improved we're gonna sell cakes cookies possibly pumpkin pies if we've got them I don't know yet <laughs> and I'm gonna make it all redstone like automated so that way everything just happens underground hence the bottom floor it's going to be super cool but guys that is actually not what we're doing today if you don't know today as in right now for me not for you when you see this as in today August 9th is Grian's birthday. He turned 25 today, and Grian is the one who pranked me by building Squiddy in the background. You can kind of see him all the way over there, the red little Squiddy over there. He's a little angry right now. <laughs> but uh, he actually pranked me with that, and we never got him back. So today we're going to be pranking him, and what we're going to do is build a giant birthday cake with a little statue of him on it, and it's going to be very funny looking. We got the little letters, the candles, you know, the 25, and then we're actually going to trap it. We're going to put a trap chest on it and make it explode, make fireworks go off and all that good stuff but don't worry we're gonna give him cake or something at the end of it to make it a little generous cuz come on it's his birthday but guys let's go ahead and get into it I actually am gonna live stream this process however I do have the replay mod so let's at least get the cake built and then you and I together will go ahead and trap it I am so proud of this thing. It just looks absolutely amazing. I just wish the background didn't make it so, you know, hard to look at. But overall, I think this thing is adorable and it's holding the TNT, which is perfect. I don't really have any blocks on me. This is uh, about a day later since we built it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage. Let me know if you'd like to see more and if you'd like to see them longer. Because I feel like they're always too short every time. But anyways, guys, we need to actually set this prank up. Because right now it's a gift. It's not a prank. It's a complete gift. So what I want to do is I want to make a trap chest. And I want to make it trigger redstone that will then cause an explosion. Now with that explosion, I'd like him to fall down into a pit of water a little bit further down. Which now that I think about it, that's going to be a little hard. Because his subway is right underneath. Oh no, it's not going to work. Ooh, we're going to have to figure something out. But I basically want it to reveal a, a message and some cake and maybe even some diamonds. So the first thing we're going to need to do is, well, really get more light gray clay here. Let me see if I can pull that together really quickly. And I crafted the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It was actually light gray, not just gray. So I've got a little bit of extra gray clay now, which is fine. But <laughs> let's go ahead and grab a little bit of TNT. We should only really need about four pieces. And then we're also going to get a little bit of redstone and all that good stuff. But we're also going to need two chests, one of them being a trapped chest. Let's got, grab some of this here just in case we need it. I really don't know if we will. Uh, I want it to basically just explode itself and not really have anything left over other than the main area that he falls down in and I also want it to trigger fireworks as well 
which is going to be a little bit harder. So we're going to have to figure that out uh, in a little bit. But for now, we can go ahead and get it actually rigged up. I won't place the TNT immediately, just so that way we can actually make sure it works. But I really hope he likes it. I know that he recently came back. He finally jumped through the portal like the rest of us. And uh, he is here and ready to rock and roll. But as I'm building this, he is actually away on a vacation. So I know for a fact uh, this is perfect timing. He's not going to log on at any time, which is amazing. Now, I don't think this is going to kill him. <laughs> I guess it could, though. You really never know. Because it seems like Grian either has armor or doesn't have armor. It always changes. But uh, let's actually go in. What I want to do is fill it up. Because if we don't fill it up, it's probably going to make a lot more damage than it should. At least to the outside piece of the cake. And I don't really want to break the cake because I did work hard on the design so I need to go ahead and get this filled up and I actually don't have enough resources I don't think to do this so I'm probably gonna have to go back and get a little bit more but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and uh, guys I just want to say thank you for all the support on everything lately you guys are truly amazing and I couldn't ask for a better family here in this community and uh, it's it's just really exciting to go back and watch videos of me hitting like 500 subscribers and just to see where we are is just crazy. And you guys, you guys are to thank for that. So thank you very much for coming along on this journey with me. And guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this all filled up and we will be right back. All right, so this should be pretty much right directly in the center of the Grian statue. So this is exactly where I want to put it. I want to do it right there. And I don't want it to be noticeable. I don't want him to know it's a trap chest. So what we're going to need to do is get our trap chest and put it right there on the top. Now that should work through the block. I don't know for sure, but I think it does. And we can actually test that by going ahead and trying to get a block here. Let me see if I can... Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do this and uh, actually get a reaction out of it really easily. I don't know for sure if it'll work. In fact, just so that we can really tell, let's go ahead and put a repeater there. Boom, it does work. So as you can see, if I remove that really quickly, or you don't even have to put anything in, but if I open that, it does come on. So that way, you can't really even tell unless you see what it is. But I know a lot of people like to do it so that it's right under the block. But if you do that, it's way too visible. And maybe even if we turn it around, he might not even notice it. That's the thing. He might not look at it at that angle. So that might be another technique. We can have it facing this way because he's obviously going to come in facing this way. So that way it's facing away. Well, that might be a little too obvious though. Hmm, I don't know. You guys, he won't see this in time for uh, the next episode, so let me know in the comments if we should have it facing this way or if we should have it facing uh, this way. That way, you know, which one do you think he would notice more? Because that red ring is very noticeable. <laughs> uh, but all right, now we need to go down here and actually get this thing figured out. Now, like I said, I'm a little scared because if I go ahead and rig it up now and it explodes, then we're not going to be in the best position. Uh, I do want him to fall down. The only problem is he does have his farm directly underneath. But it looks like we should have a little bit of space. We can go ahead and get this mined out and see if we can just go a little bit of a distance down. That way, he at least falls and hopefully sees the signs and all that kind of stuff down below. Now, if it does reach it, I don't think the TNT would even reach that low. So we don't have to go too far. But uh, if it does reach it, which I think this is the room, actually, then uh, we'll just have to stop about here. But yeah, we need to get all of this mined out and and then we need to place a couple of signs and all that good stuff. I still don't know how I'm going to do the fireworks, but we'll have to figure that out later. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this room out, try and get it all cleaned up and make it look decent. Get the signs in place, get a little bit of cake and all that good stuff. And I'll be right back. All right, I've got it all figured out. We've got the cake and all that good stuff. Now we just need a little bit of cookies. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these cocoa beans. I think I remember how to make cookies. Now, honestly, the beautiful thing about this prank is it's supposed to be a gigantic advertisement for System Z's Bakery coming soon. <laughs> And that's that's what I love so much about it. It's generous, but it fits the theme of what we're about to build, and it's truly amazing. But uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, look at all those cookies. I think he's going to love that. And I can keep about 16 of them for myself because then he gets two stacks right on the dot. But we should be good to go now. Other than signs, I do need to grab some signs, which I think I have plenty in here. Unless we wanted to do a book, but I think signs are just good and old-fashioned. Signs are kind of in the spirit of Evo. You know, going through all these different versions, we've had different experiences and different ways of talking to the players, like through signs, now we have books, 
you know, different methods of doing things. So I think it's really cool to kind of keep some of those old-fashioned things. And honestly, I see a lot of you constantly talking about it in the comments, about the, the legacy of Minecraft and how cool this series is because it showcases all that kind of stuff. I actually started back in version, I believe, 1.3.2, so I think around... Uh, or no, I think it was actually the first version we started in. I think that was literally the first version I ever played. So it's been really cool for me as well. But uh, I'm glad you guys have been enjoying it. But yeah, all right. So we've got water here to protect him. I don't know if this will really protect him, though. It's a small layer. Let's try and get it a full source here. Boom and boom. All good to go. All right, then we need to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do those. Let's put a chest down. We'll put it right there. This is where the cookies will go. So we're just going to do two stacks just like that. I guess we really could have done a book now that I think about it. But we're just going to put cakes in each corner. Oh! Oh, man. That never happened. So let's just act like that never happened. Uh, okay, so now we just need to get the signs in place and all that good stuff. So he's going to fall facing this direction. Meaning we probably should actually put these right here assuming he does fall hopefully he doesn't you know not fall for it because i know he's a pretty clever guy so he could probably avoid this trap altogether but uh now we just need to get some signs laid down happy 25th birthday green i hope you had an awesome day and i hope this trap didn't kill you z ps z's bakery coming soon and guys, I've uh, I've been working on it. <laughs> I'm going to have the fireworks down here. And the way I have it currently set up is essentially... I, I really don't know if I'll be able to get up here, but we can try. Uh, <laughs> whenever it triggers, it's going to start a loop. Now, I'm going to have the TNT basically there and there. And I really hope it doesn't affect the signs, but I don't think it will. Uh, it should only affect the upper area. But we're going to have the TNT there. This, however, is going to come through here. And it's going to activate a piston. And this piston is going to knock this block off. Which if it does that, then it'll start this loop. And basically automatically start looping through this dispenser. Which will be full of fireworks. But we have to get those fireworks first. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. But I'm not a redstone genius. So you'll have to forgive me. But yeah, now... Oh, okay, Mr. Sheep. You can go ahead and get out if you want. <laughs> so that is pretty much done. All we have to do now is fill this in. And then we need to go ahead and get the uh, TNT placed. But we probably ought to test it first, to be honest. Because I really don't know if that piston will work. So, let's climb up here and see if we can't get this to activate really quickly. So we'll do that. Oh, that's totally not how you do it. That's how you place a block. <laughs> Boom, come on. Oh, okay, piston did go. And now they're going. So this does work. That's awesome. So we know for a fact it does work now. And basically it just pushes this up. It's a pretty simple system overall. But we're going to put that there now. And now it is set. All we got to do now is basically get the TNT in place and some fireworks. I really don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> fireworks have always been that one thing that is just so difficult for me. But I kind of have an idea of what I want. I want to do some that are red. And I want the larger one, so then we'll do that. And then some that are both red and yellow, because I feel like that might represent him really well. So we'll do that. And then we need paper, I think. I don't know. This is too complicated. I feel like fireworks should be simplified. Or maybe I just haven't really played with them enough to understand them. <laughs> now we need some paper, so let's get some paper. Then we're going to need a little bit more gunpowder. Almost done. I don't want to, you know, shift click here because that will automatically create all of them. So let's make 10 here. So we need to do 10. Boom. And then we'll go ahead and put those in there. So now we need 11 because I have shift clicked this so many times before in the past and made too many extra non-working fireworks that it's not even funny. So I think that should be good. There we go. I don't really need that many to be honest uh, just because he'll probably turn it off or it might not even work. Who knows? But this should work. And just to test it out, let's go ahead and do... We'll do one of the smaller ones and light it inside. So this should... Oh, look at that. There we go. That works. That's going to look awesome. So I want it to, like, basically come in and immediately collide. So we might actually need to put a block above it. Now, I don't really know if that's the case, but... Hmm, maybe we should hop on into a test world really quickly. Just to see if we can figure out exactly how fireworks do work. All right, so what I'm thinking is that we could cover it like that, and that should actually make it explode pretty much right there, although that was a little odd, but that would actually look really cool. So it does go through. That's a problem. Hmm. Not every time, though. That could actually be a good thing. 
Yeah, okay, so we're gonna put it one block under. That way it actually goes through the ground and maybe even make it harder for him to find it. But I feel like that could be a pretty cool method. And some of them will go up higher too, so we'll get a sense of variation with it. So that'll be good. All right, now we need to actually bury it down and get it all set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I promise we're almost done. All right, the fireworks are in, and I've lowered them down by one block, and they're facing inward, so they should hit this block immediately and go off like that. At the very least, they're going to go up this way instead of in the actual wall. So that is one step closer to being complete. Now what I need to do is go ahead and try and get up here without leaving any blocks down below. So we'll do that, and if they despawn, that'll be fine. Uh, do that. There we go. Now we just need to get the TNT place, which I'm very scared to do because I don't want all of this to go away. So here's the hoping that none of this triggers on accident. I'm going to warn all of the people on the server and tell them not to do it. That way green is the only one who falls for it. So now we need to get out of here, which I guess I'm kind of trapped here. <laughs> so we can go around. This is all set up correctly. All right. I think it's all good. I think we are finally ready to call this prank completed. And I think it looks pretty good overall. I'm going to need to get these. But yeah, I don't think he'll notice anything. I think it should be fine. He's going to climb up as he normally would. He's going to come in and then open that chest, hopefully. And we should put diamonds or something in it. That way he tries to loot it. But uh, yeah, that is basically what we've got. So I'm going to put some stuff in that chest. But overall, guys, I think that is going to do it for today. This took a lot longer than I thought it would. It's a lot more intricate than it should be. Uh, I imagine I could have made it a lot easier with a little bit of redstone help from mumbo jumbo or something But overall guys, let me know what you think of the prank I absolutely love it and I hope he does as well and I hope you guys enjoyed it My name has been system C you guys have been awesome and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching